for you. The CSRA is full of amazing women. Women who inspire. Women who innovate. Women who lead. That's why News Channel 6 brings you Women to Watch. On the last Wednesday of each month, News Channel 6 recognizes local business women who are making a positive impact in our community. To nominate someone, just visit WJBF.com slash Women to Watch and fill out the entry form. Who do we want? Jackson, Jackson Massey. Massey. When do we want him? Now. Thanks, Jackson Massey. 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 Jackson Massey. 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 Fly direct to Washington, D.C. from Augusta Regional Airport. Temperatures before we're going to have wetter conditions over the next several days. A full look at a changing 5 or 6 forecast is coming up. Right now on News Channel 6 at 4, sprucing up Augusta for Masters patrons. But the Richmond County Marshal's Office considers a priority. Plus, Augusta commissioners are ready to select a new city administrator. So what's holding up the vote? And another rezoning request in Columbia County. We'll explain what's being proposed and get reactions from people who live in that area as your news at 4 starts now. Live from Television Park. This is WJBF News Channel 6 at 4. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jenny Montgomery. Thanks so much for joining us. Brad's on assignment today. We're just two weeks out from this year's Masters Tournament, and the process to clean up the city is getting started. But city leaders are asking for more help from the community to make Augusta look above par. News Channel 6's Graham Lee joins us now from Washington Road. And Graham, you got to hear from city leaders and the marshal's office. I did, Jenny, and actually Augusta's busiest year, week of the year is on the horizon, and one of the priorities for the city is making sure it looks top-notch for visitors coming from around the country. But the only thing is, there are some parts of Augusta near Augusta National Golf Club where trash can be seen. Now, over the weekend, pedestrians saw a large pile of trash behind the Carabas on Washington Road, and some of it is still there. This came to the attention of District Commis 7 Commissioner Sean Franham, who says cleanup efforts are especially important this time of year. You want to put a good foot forward uh, for companies that come here to possibly look to invest, as well as you want to make sure they have a good experience. Uh, you want to show that um, Augusta is great, just not during the Masters, but at all times. Um, so we definitely need to make sure we're putting our best foot forward. I mean, frankly, we wouldn't have the resources to do what we do the other uh, 51 weeks of the year if we didn't have the Masters here in Augusta. We also spoke to the marshal's office, and they tell us the best way for you to help is to say something if you see something. So anyone with any concerns about trash or litter, you're encouraged to contact them. Live in Augusta, Graham Lee, WJBF, News Channel 6. Jenny? All right, Graham, thanks so much. And in Aiken, the inaugural Tourism Partners Cleanup Day is Wednesday. It's from 9 to 11 a.m. along Jefferson Davis Highway from Aiken to the Georgia border. The event is part of the Great South Carolina Cleanup that runs through June. If you want to participate, you can register at cleanupaiken.org or click the QR code you see right there on your screen. screen. <laughs> it is time right now for a first look at our forecast with Chief Meteorologist Tim Miller. Hey, Tim. Hey, Jenny. Let's look outside and we'll take a look at our view here with our SkyView camera. Uh, is it me or is it just a little blurry? Maybe it's the pollen. I tell you what. <clears throat> Y'all gonna forgive me today. The pollen's really affected my voice. It's probably affected yours. It's just all over the place, and what we can expect all coming up in just a few minutes, Jenny. All right, Tim. Thank you. The trial for two people charged in the death of Janelle Carwell is on hold. Carwell's stepfather, Leon Tripp, and mother, Tanya Tripp, were indicted in November of 2023 on murder charges. Carwell disappeared on her 16th birthday, Easter Sunday of 2016. Her remains were found almost two years later. District Attorney Jared Williams asked for the delay while his office appeals a decision to exclude as evidence statements that were made by Leon Tripp. Another trial date will be set once the judge issues a ruling. In a separate hearing today, bond was denied for both suspects. 
And Aiken Mann is charged with possession of child pornography. Brett Crow is charged with three counts of sexual exploitation of minors. He was arrested by the Mount Pleasant Police Department on March 20th. Investigators say he solicited someone he believed was a minor for sex. He's in the Charleston County Jail with a $300,000 bond. The Attorney General's office says Crow was convicted on similar charges back in 2012. And Augusta Commissioner wants the city attorney to weigh in on commissioners abstaining on votes. Commissioner Wayne Guilfoyle wants the city attorney to clarify how and when a commissioner can abstain from voting. Earlier this year, Commissioner Bobby Williams abstained, preventing the mayor from breaking a 5-5 to tie to select a permanent city administrator. As you've been used for the wrong reason, if you abstain, you should uh, clear, clarify why are you abstain and showing that it's a conflict of interest? Anything besides that, you should be able to vote yes or no. Guilfoyle expects to get a written opinion on abstaining from the city attorney at Tuesday's committee meetings. A proposed shopping center and car wash could be coming to Columbia County, but people have some mixed opinions on it. Hannah Latier explains why. The new development at the South Bel Air and Oakley Perkle Road intersection would require a rezoning from residential to commercial, something that could affect those who live around here. Developers want to split the roughly eight acre property into four parcels. One would be a car wash, the others haven't been determined. Some people I spoke to think the area could use the upgrades, while others worry about traffic getting worse. But a main concern I heard was that it is so close to the Fox Run neighborhood. The site plan shows that the property would be connected to the Oakley Perkle extension of the neighborhood. The developer tells me that this can be changed and it wouldn't have to be connected, but neighbors still have their doubts. I, for one, would be completely against it. Um, we already have enough traffic congestion in this stretch of Bel Air Road, and to be quite honest, I just don't want to any see anything else retail come in here that could attract um, the wrong crowd. The proposal will go to the Columbia County Planning Commission on April 4th. And Martinez, Hannah Latier, WJBF News Channel 6. A group of lawmakers is trying to make it easier for Americans to pay their rent. They call themselves the Congressional Renters Caucus. The group recently announced 15 bills they say will lower costs and increase the number of affordable rental homes. One of those bills is the Community Housing Act. It would spend $500 billion to build new housing. The bill's sponsor says a bigger supply will drive rents down. It will keep renters in their homes and keeps rent, rent affordable. A lot of our efforts at the federal government and across the country have been too small, too slow, and too inefficient. Other legislation aims to limit evictions, reform zoning laws, and provide more rental assistance. A recent report from Moody's says the average renter now pays 30% of their income on rent, the highest it's been in 20 years. If you are a Golden Girls fan or a Gilmore Girls fanatic, you've got to tune into tomorrow's Jenny Show. I'm talking with Stan Zimmerman, a Hollywood writer, producer, and director who's written a book about his experiences with a lot of the television shows you've enjoyed over the years. In The Girls, from Golden to Gilmore, he recalls funny moments with all of them, from Blanche and Rose to Lorelai and Rory. He even shares a funny moment when he was behind a couple of Hollywood legends in a movie theater. But we didn't know it. All of a sudden, we heard this booming low voice, and we looked at each other and said, that's B. Arthur. And then next to her is standing Angela Lansbury. That's crazy. And we were just, just in an afternoon matinee movie. So my writing partner said, do not speak to them, because I really wanted to go up there and say, hi, do you remember us? He said, she'll never remember us. <laughs> but we sat right behind them, and they laughed at every dirty joke in the movie. Stan also gets pretty emotional talking about the women in his family who had a huge impact on his life, especially his late mother. We'll also visit with Dr. Gary Sen and find out about a movie showing this month at DuPont Planetarium, as well as how they're getting ready for the solar eclipse on April 8th. And we'll preview the big Washington Wilkes spring tour of homes tomorrow at 1230 on Jenny. Coming up, capturing the total solar eclipse. The proper way to pre to preserve your eyes in this once in a lifetime experience. Well, time to get hoppy.
because we are only six days away now until Easter, and wait until you see that Easter forecast. Oh, my word. All the details coming up. No further questions. Westside High School Boys Basketball. State champions for the third straight year. Snakes, rodents, and mold all live and grow beneath your home and eventually will find their way inside. Canty Foundation Specialist is your local trusted expert in crawl space ceiling. Call us today for a free estimate. Canty can fix it. Two weeks from today is the total solar eclipse. Total in some parts of the country, at least. And some photography experts are helping you capture the special moment. Scarlett O'Hara walks us through how you might want to prepare, even if you only have the camera on your cell phone. Decades of waiting and countless average sunny days will soon be rewarded with a brief, breathtaking sight filling Indiana sky. The next eclipse is, I think, in 2045. All right, so it's 21 years from now. I don't know if I'm going to be here, but I know I'm going to be here for this one, so let's, let's make the most of this one. Preserving that moment won't be as difficult as you might think, and Walter Kuhn at Robert's Camera wants to equip Hoosiers with everything they need to get the perfect shot, including a solar filter, important for protecting your camera's sensor and your eyes. When totality hits, we don't need these. We take these off, okay? But while we're photographing the sun before that and while we're photographing the sun after that, this is the key. Anybody can take a good picture of the eclipse. But the experts here at Robert's Camera say the equipment you need, from a smartphone to a professional camera, depends on the shot you want to get. Which of these do you want, or do you want something in between it? He says once they sell out of filters, they won't be restocking. And while the store's rental equipment has all been claimed for the big day, you can still sign up for a lesson on eclipse photography. But remember, time is of the essence, because you won't have much on April 8th. Well, our best advice is don't wait for the eclipse, okay? Photography is a recording of light. The sun's going to be the same today as it's going to be on April 8th. Let's, put, let's go buy this, let's put this on, and let's go figure this out today. For many, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I made this picture in 2017. But a lucky few already know, while a picture's worth a thousand words, it's hard to find the right ones for something like this. Don't get so wrapped up in trying to capture it that you don't take a few moments to experience it. Because... It's indescribable. Photography, photo, no photo or video is going to do it justice. You just have to experience it. On April 8th at 2 p.m., and actually uh, at 2 p.m., you can experience History in the Making with ABC News special coverage of the total solar eclipse. It includes broadcasts from 10 cities along the eclipse path. Of course, in our area, it's just after 3 p.m. Again, that's the April the 8th, right here on News Channel 6. We'll be right back. I'm attorney G. Too healthy. My dad was a farmer. And when I saw him on a horse, the guy was bigger than life. One of the things that he had a hard time doing was showing the emotion. Maybe it was because the way he was raised or believing that men provide and they don't struggle. But we all struggle. I want to show emotion to my kids. I want them to know when I'm happy. I want them to know when I'm sad. And I want them to see me working through things. The biggest reward I get from being a dad is watching my kids accomplish a goal, watching them light up. Nothing brings a bigger smile to my face. So I make my kids a priority. Whether it's getting a baseball, a dance rehearsal, you name it, I'm there. They're going to remember that they grew up loved. Be brave. Be there every day. And allow your kids to know that it's okay to struggle. That even dad doesn't know the answer sometimes, but we're going to figure it out together. Over the years, thousands of people have gotten their hands on one. And who knows? You could be next. Win your very own Good Morning Augusta coffee mug at WGBF.com slash coffee club. Sponsored by Honda Cars of Aiken. Easter weekend, Jenny, with temperatures into the 80s. That will be wonderful. Yes. Indeed. All right. Thank you so much, Tim. Coming up, NASA's new discovery. What scientists found around two baby stars. I don't have time to keep my books. I'm a cosmetologist, and every minute matters in my salon. Thanks to Elite Tax, I can focus on making my clients beautiful. Life's busy. 
I've trusted Elite Tax Solutions for years. They get my family the maximum refund to better support us. Managing a construction business is no small feat. Thanks to Elite Tax Solutions, now I can concentrate on building success, not just structures. What are you waiting for? Your time and money matter. Book an appointment today. Attention. It's almost 5 o'clock, even in space, apparently. Astronomers at NASA discovered elements around two baby stars are made up of the same ingredients as a margarita. They used the James Webb Space Telescope to identify a variety of icy compounds made up of complex organic molecules like ethanol, which is alcohol, and likely acidic acid, an ingredient in vinegar. They say the discovery is important because although planets are not yet forming around those stars, these and other molecules detected are key ingredients for making potentially habitable worlds. There is more coverage you can count on coming up at 4.30, including how lawmakers hope to tackle the rise in threats against health care workers. We will be here right after the break. Imagine a special evening you lovingly plan to celebrate for your anniversary. Flowers, a night on the town. Reservations and tickets months in advance. A truly special occasion. Imagine going to the hospital instead. A night of celebration turns into weeks of pain. George Sink Injury Lawyers will be there for you. Our team has the experience to help you get your money faster. Just call all nines now. 